Okay, time to talk about a standing committee on government assurance of parliament. Now, a, a vibrant parliament is good for democracy. That's what we all know. And it's also critical for a well-functioning uh, democracy. In fact, parliament is critical because they represent the people. They are the people who make up uh, the entire uh, Ghanaian citizenry. But the role and responsibilities of parliament remains far from reality. Exactly what is it that they have to do? How do we deal with it? A standing committee on government assurance is therefore formed to ensure that there's a link between what perhaps ministers and cabinet ministers are doing and exactly how it impacts on the people. This morning we're going to find out exactly the mandate, the role of this committee on government assurance. My guests uh, this morning, two of them, uh, Jerry Sam is uh, a deputy uh, He's in charge of programs at Penn Plus by. He's here with me in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. I'm doing very well. Thanks thank for you. your time. And then MP for Malaysia North, uh, he chairs that committee, I guess. Yes. The chair of the Committee on Government Assurance. Welcome to the studios. They've been you. missing for some time. Welcome back home. Let's, let me start with you. What, what at all is all this about? The Committee on Government Assurance. What is it about? Very well. Um, a very good morning to your cherished viewers. Mm. Um, right. Uh, when you talk about uh, Committee on Government Assurance, it's one of the standing committees of parliament established by Order 174 of the standing orders. And the committee is mandated to, as it were, pursue all assurances, promises, and undertakings given by ministers from time to time, and also to report to the House on the extent to which uh, such assurances mm. have been fulfilled or been carried out. Basically, that, that is the So, so when, when ministers, are, uh, when they pledge or they make promises, your job is to ensure that they have fulfilled that or not? Our job is to pursue, is to scrutinize to the extent that such promises that they made are being fulfilled. And then do what? Yeah, and, and also to report to the plenary to mind you, all uh, committees of parliament um, are for the speaker. So mm -hmm. we call it speakers uh, uh, committees. Mm -hmm. So it is our duty to report to the House um, that um, these assurances were made um, t as to whether those assurances have been carried out. It's our duty, it's our to responsibility let know. to let the public Speaker, I mean the public. When you okay. say parliament, I mean the public. The public parliament right. is the representative institution. Mm. To know that indeed such promises made have been fulfilled. I see. It, can you tell me currently some of the assurances and promises you are monitoring? Well, as we speak now, um, they say leadership decides everything. And uh, uh, being the chairman, um, we're working uh, seriously to ensure that all the promises or undertakings given by uh, ministers, especially in this government, are being fulfilled. Uh, so uh, I taxed my clerks, mm. that is the secretariat, to uh, write to the respective ministries and some of the agencies um, based on the assurances that they made. Um, some have responded. Uh, Ministry of Energy, for instance, um, has, has responded to, to our call and the uh, Ministry of um, Railway Development to mm. uh, the rest, we are here to receive their responses. I so um, uh, we are working and we are also to embark on a verification visit to monitor such assurances. And see whether they are on, on, the, exactly. on the ground. Yes. The, the, yes. the committee is not working alone. Uh, civic Tech uh, is part of uh, the, 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 the whole uh, circuit, uh, Pen Plus Byte is also uh, part. Now, uh, the Deputy Director, Jerry Sam, is here. Now, what, how do you gauge that, or what tools are you using to ensure that this monitoring uh, is, is getting the right results? Thank you, Bright, and good morning to your, uh, uh, your viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working with the committee for quite a while now, and it's, it's a very strategic committee in Ghana's parliament. Uh, you consider it as a microcosm of Parliament of Ghana because it actually carries out, you know, on the ground, the oversight work of the committee. And based on, on that, we decided that uh, it's, it's a strategic committee to work with uh, in our quest to open up uh, Ghana's parliament 
bring parliament closer to the citizenry mm. and also make sure that citizens have easy access to information and the work of the committee and visualize some of the assurances that the committee is working on. One of the key ones which is dear to a lot of people's hearts is the one that is the uh, infrastructure for poverty eradication program, IPEP program. Mm. That's where you have the one district, one factory, one uh, village, one dam. Uh, we have even uh, one constituency, one warehouse, and all of those ones, which the committee is strategically monitoring. So what we do is that we, there's a proliferation uh, of digital tools uh, uh, now. People are using mobile phones. Right. Uh, people are using social media. And there's a website. So the committee actually is the only committee in Ghana's parliament that has its own dedicated platform. So we won't call it website, it's a, a platform because it's very interactive. It sends out information to citizens mm. to let people know and become aware of what the committee is doing and in, 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 in a step by extension what parliament is actually doing because sometimes uh, our perception is that parliament is working alone but really parliament is representing us. So how do we get citizens involved in their work? How do we build a capacity or enhance uh, citizen participation mm. uh, in, in, the, in, the, in Parliament's work? And we are doing this through the Government Assurance Committee. And I must commend you know, the leadership of the committee uh, over the years and, uh, and the current leader, Honorable uh, Collins, uh, for being open mm. and being uh, accommodating of all the innovative tools that we bring into their doorsteps. Mm. Because without their buy-in, it, it, will, it will not work. Yes, so, so you're using the social media, you're using the mobile phones. How do citizens engage the committee through these? So the committee actually has its own dedicated uh, uh, Facebook. The Facebook page. Uh, which yeah. is uh, Gov, Gov Assurances GH. Mm -hmm. and, and if you check, it's actually verified because of all its good work. It's been verified by Facebook. Mm -hmm. They have a Twitter account, which is Gov Assurances. They have a dedicated short code, which is 9030. And then they have the uh, online platform, which is www.govassurances.org.gh. Uh, gov when you go to all these platforms, you get to know information about the committee. Mm. And at the same time, you can subscribe to alerts. So if the committee, for instance, is going to pursue an assurance on, in the railway sector, once they do the verification visit and we get any updates, this information is directly sent to uh, citizens to let them know that, OK, for the railway sector, uh, we're actually doing from Accra to Pram Pram. This is the stage that it has reached. Citizens can report, once they get this information and, and you are within that catchment area, you can report and say that, yes, indeed, mm. I have seen the railway being developed. Right. Or the contractor has abandoned uh, the site or is using inferior materials. Then this information is all categorized and, 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 and developed into a policy brief. We present it to the committee. Committee uses it as an evidence-based information to call on the sector minister to act at to, to, to a public hearing. I see. And then question them to act on the mm. information that they receive from citizens. Mm. So in a way, you, we are actually taking uh, the parliament closer to citizens. Citizens are participating in their work. And you know, in the end, we're hoping that it will be reduce apathy in our elections because citizens are tending to you know, own our democratic process. I see. Let me hear it from the horse's own mouth. How has this been? E e e e effectively ensure that the, the government's assurances are being uh, met. Very well, to add to what uh, Jerry just said, mm. um, and also to quote one of our forebears um, in the person of the late uh, Professor Brifa Buzia, mm. who once opined that uh, we regard politics as an avenue of service to fellow men. Mm. Yes, uh, we hold that power is to be exercised to make life nobler and happier to those who have entrusted to us. And also we think the yastic by which our followers or success should be judged based on the condition of human being himself. So um, it's all about giving true meaning to democracy. Um, politics is all about accountability. And I think people must be held accountable and responsible to the very people who elected them or who elect them. So uh, we are doing our best as mm -hmm. a committee and as part of our uh, uh, action plans. Um, after we are done with the verification visit, then we hold a public hearing. That is where we're going to summon some of the ministers that uh, we feel that uh, they need to speak, they need to, the to, speak to the people uh, as to how they, they, they've gone 
by their own promises. Um, we are yet to engage them, mm. and as we speak now, I'm sure they are also watching. Uh, and so, and so we'll so get they it ready. Be prepared. They should be prepared. They should be prepared. <laughs> let, me, let me get to Jerry. I'll come back to you. Jerry, so what are the future plans? In the, in the future plans, what, what we intend to do is um, we, we are, you know, the committee ha has a support research team, mm. and they are collating all the assurances. Mm. Uh, we have also developed a tool as part of uh, our tech support. We have de developed a tool that, you know, actually automates assurance selection. So now they will not have to go through voluminous uh, budget readings and documents to kill out assurances. All they need to do is we just upload the documents into an online platform, and it actually uh, will uh, bring out all the assurances because they have keywords that they use to uh, determine what constitutes an assurance and what does not. Uh, constitute. Some are just mere promises, mm. but then the platform, uh, the tool that the tech tool that we have developed, actually can uh, uh, kill out all assurances from voluminous documents. Once we're able to get all these assurances, then it's sent out to citizens. And we get citizens to actually prioritize for the committee, of course, we, in consultation with the committee, what assurances you know, citizens think that you know, uh, the committee should prioritize and follow up on, which will have a direct impact on their lives or will serve their needs most. So is there an issue to do with fisheries, for instance? Is there an issue to do with uh, transportation or jobs? Or uh, you know, make sure that the one district, one factory is actually done so that you know it, the employment comes to uh, the people. Mm -hmm. So that once citizens prioritize what they want, then we we'll visualize the assurances. So at a glance, you will know where the money is coming from in support of that particular assurance, the timelines to it, which minister made assurance, and then also citizens can give feedback onto it. Then in that sense, then uh, we actually, you know, strengthening our, 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 our parliament's work mm. with the input from citizens. And citizens, what is in it for them is that government is performing. Their tax money is going to where they want it to go to. So that, you know, they, at the end of the day, they have the full benefits of our democracy. Uh, uh, Chair yes. of, the, of, the, of the committee, in terms of holding government accountable, what are your future plans? Our future plan, uh, of course, um, uh, Parliament uh, has an oversight responsibility mm. over the executives, and we are to hold them accountable. Um, so, um, as a committee, um, we have our own plans. Uh, we are the only committee in Parliament uh, which does not need a referral from Speaker. It's the so only work committee. Work on your own. Work on our own. We have our own rules of engagement. Uh, the only committee. Uh, that has gotten an uh, online platform uh, <laughs> with the help of uh, Jerry. Very active on social media as well. <laughs> Very active, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, so we have our own way of uh, going about our own duty as a committee. Mm. Um, like, as I was saying, um, some assurances have been made. Um, we are to pursue it. And um, next week, next week, likely we are embarking on our verification visit. Right. Um, there was this uh, a promise by the Minister for Railways uh, Development, uh, which has to do with the construction of railway line mm. from. Uh, um, uh, Is it the Pakadan Rail? No, 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 no. From from Tema, mm. uh, um, from Tema to. Uh, they, they are called to boy. Yeah. coming. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, from, from, from. Well, from, from Tema to Akosumbo. Yes, that's in Pakana. Very well. Uh, 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 yeah. right. Very well. Okay. Very well. And as we speak now, uh, there's We're a contractor work on, on the side. Yeah, working mm -hmm. on it. And also the 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 construction of the same railway from Kojokrum to Kumase to oh. Dunkwa. As we speak now, uh, uh, an award has been, what do you call it, um, a the contract contract. has been given to uh, a Chinese company, would you? So we would find out whether indeed the contractor is there. The contractor is there. Mm. Yes. Uh, so um, that is what we, we want to. Okay. Finally, before I go to Jerry, what support do you need in achieving all this, and what is the role of the citizen? Before I go to Jerry to wrap up for me, well, the kind of support you need to make your work uh, efficient and effective. Well, uh, we need your support, right, uh, the media, uh, uh, the media uh, as, as one of the key 
I'm a partners to champion this course. Mm. And we also need the support of uh, 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 civil society mm. uh, organizations like uh, Pen Plus Byte and the rest. We sometimes we also need funds right. to be able to, to, to carry out our duty lawfully. So um, let me also commend Star Ghana and uh, yeah. Star Ghana and um, uh, have forgotten one. Civic one. Tech is also there. Yes, yes, right. yes. And Pen Plus Byte, mm. I mean, and host of others. Yeah, they are all uh, uh, helping us uh, to achieve the committee's um, vision. Mm. Um, going forward, we, we, as representatives of the people, we, as the representatives of the people, like members of parliament, mm. Um, we have an honor's duty to ensure that one, we represent the state. And that is the reason why as a member of parliament you have been given legislative powers, I mean to enact laws. Um, we also represent our constituents. Right. And therefore their, their, their concerns or their welfare should be of paramount to us as MPs. Mm. Then uh, because we are practicing multi-party democracy, uh, we own allegiance to the party uh, to make sure that the party's programs, policies, ideologies, I mean, or philosophies behind its establishment mm. are well executed. So uh, this uh, duties as a member of parliament, you ought to perform. Now, we have a committee, and the committee has also been given specific tasks. And it's all about the welfare of our people. Mm. How are we connecting so that they would be in the known whether the mandate that they have given to us has resulted to, uh, I mean, positive or has yielded to positive uh, uh, results. So uh, the onus lies on us to ensure that at the end of the day, the very people who put us there, their needs are met. Their needs are met. I'm grateful. General part for me. So the support they need, then what uh, citizens can do briefly, and then we'll. we'll I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Honourable mentioned uh, that they need uh, financial support as well. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's uh, one of the committees that's referred to as orphan committees, mm. uh, which basically does it, it does not form any get new any ministry, any, right? And they suffer almost the same uh, uh, issues as such as the accountability in institutions mm. like uh, Shraj and Yoko and what have you. So, uh, you know, any support that. Can, can help the committee to work, then you know it's very laudable because they're doing very great work. I mean, we started this project with uh, Star Ganas on our side. Mm. Uh, it's been so good that other donors are supporting the work of the committee. And in cur the current phase of the project is actually being supported by OSIWA, which is the Open Society Initiative for West Africa. Mm. And they're seeing that, yes, you know, it's one of the committees that if it performs very well, our parliament will be very strong and help our democracy to you know, be, be, be more strengthened. And uh, I mean, it's, it's a call to action for all of us mm. to be, you know, part of the committee's work, to support the committee to do what it's doing, mm. to be the eyes on the ground. There are only 25 members. They'll not be able to see all projects and assurances across the country, mm. but we are Ghanaians everywhere. So we can be the eyes of the committee on the ground. So it'll be good that we, we, we all p participate in it. So I, I will encourage uh, all to visit the uh, committee's uh, the website. website, which is www.govassurances. Dot gov dot gh. Okay. Uh, sign up to the short code 1930. Visit our Facebook, uh, which is the committee's Facebook, which is Gov Assurances GH. Once you're there, you get to know all the platforms that the committee is on. It has a WhatsApp uh, 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 group as well. Mm -hmm. And the number I can put the number on is 0241 995737. So uh, the, the number again 0241 you know, once you send right. a message, you are part of the group, and then, you know, the Become. committee will be engaging you as well. I'm grateful. He's a deputy director uh, in charge of programs at Pen Plus Byte, and Honorable Colin Samankwa is the chair of the Committee on Government Assurances. I'm grateful for your time. Uh, get to be part of it, even if you missed all, 0241 uh, is a WhatsApp line, but you can be part. Um, let us help them to fix our democracy.